What's going on everybody? Stogie Farts here and the zombie cat. Uh, I wasn't going to film this video with her in it, but as you know, she just meows and just will not leave me alone. So I figured, well, one way to shut her up is just to hold her. Anyway, this video is going to be an update on my aquaponics system. On my last video, I showed you everything running. I was all happy, excited, and all hell broke loose. Uh, probably about 10 days into it, I came outside and one of my fish was dead. It was this huge goldfish and uh, I don't remember seeing really any signs of distress, but he was dead uh, and that really sucked. Not only that, but I noticed one of my other koi, the one that always seems to get sick, was acting sick again. He was just sitting by himself. Uh, not moving, not being social, laying on the bottom of the, the tank and anybody that knows about fish knows that is a, a true sign that something is wrong. So something was wrong with my system and I had to sit and figure out what is going on. Here I have this new system and all of a sudden fish are dying and not feeling well. I'm obviously missing something and I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is. Okay, so here's the problem. This is my new filter, as you are aware. In the old system, the fish lived here. The water pumped to these three grow beds. They filtered the water. They brought it back down. That was the old system. The new system takes the water, pumps it through this big filter. It returns a little, little of the water to the grow beds, but most of the water goes from here into the fish tank. The problem that I failed to realize is since most of the water is going directly here, this thing is not uh, seasoned. It's not conditioned with enough bacteria to convert all the bad stuff out of the water and make it safe for the fish. So for those of you that aren't aware of, you know, aquariums and ponds and, and things of water chemistry, fish excrete ammonia through their breathing, through their waste, and anything that falls in the water, any dead plant material, that also contributes to the ammonia in the water. Ammonia is very dangerous for fish. A filter is supposed to take that ammonia and through beneficial bacteria, it converts that ammonia to something safer. That's just the short version. The filter, being brand new, didn't have any beneficial bacteria in it. So all the ammonia and everything that normally these things took care of was just going through the pump into the filter. Most of it is going to the fish and not being converted into something safe. So as you can see inside the filter, water just rises through these rocks and then it goes out there to the fish. So there's where it leaves, there's where it's being returned. So all that water needs to have bacteria that is converting it to something safe. Otherwise, it's just pointing basically poison water right into the fish tank. And I think that's what killed the fish, was the high ammonia. So, these rocks and uh, gravel, they don't have enough time to have beneficial bacteria in there. It's just a mechanical filter. It's just keeping out solids. It's not converting biologically the water into something better for the fish. So I need to come up with a way to make this more of a biological filter in addition to being a mechanical filter. Now over time, this will be a good biological filter just with the gravel, but it never hurts to have as much biological filtration as possible. So we're gonna solve that in this video, hopefully. Okay, this old filter is something I had in past videos that I have taken offline. Um, you can see it's got a lot of gunk and crap inside of there, but at the very bottom, I have, well, you can't see because of all the crap, but I got these lava rocks in here. Now, I would think that these lava rocks have some bacteria living on them because they're this crappy, filthy water. And lava rocks are very porous, so that gives a lot of nooks and crannies for bacteria to live. So, here's my plan. My wife is always yelling at me for keeping things, and I got a ton of these that I've kept for various reasons. What I think I'm going to try and do is I'm going to take one of these empty coffee filters, I'm probably going to line it with 
some scrubby pads. So something along the lines of this, maybe one on this side and one on the other side. And then in the middle, I'm gonna place a bunch of lava rocks. I'm gonna drill a hole somewhere on the bottom and I'm gonna put in an air stone. So the air stone will sit on the bottom, the rocks will sit on top of it, and it'll just blow air through it, and that should hopefully be a nice little home that bacteria could live and happily convert the ammonia out of the water into something better for the fish, which is nitrates. So let's give that a shot. Look, just cleaning out these uh, scrubby pads, I'm finding worms that have gotten in here from the grow beds that love all the poo and stuff that's on these. Okay, I just put in a uh, airline and on the inside and I attached the stone. We'll probably keep that right in the middle and I'm thinking we'll put the rocks right on top of it. The reason why I'm putting these around the sides is I figure this just gives more surface area for bacteria to probably make a little home in and so uh, we'll see how that goes. All right and there we go. Now it's time to put it in the water and see how it does. Crap. I just realized I don't have any other holes on the bottom to allow water to easily flow in when I put this in my tank. And also, when I lift it out of the tank, you don't want this to be like one big cup of water. You want the water to drain out. So now I gotta dump it all out. And I'm gonna put maybe a couple holes in the bottom. Okay, I think that ought to do it. Take two. Well, there it is in there. Not a whole lot of bubbles, but I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem because technically speaking, all the water that you see in here, even though it looks pretty still, it's heavily oxygenated because it's coming from here. So this water that you see, which is heavily agitated, is coming through that pipe up into the bottom of this and it's rising up. So this should be plenty oxygenated and the bubbles you see here is just a little extra. But I think I'm not gonna stop here. I wanna provide as much biological filtration in this top half of the barrel as possible. So let's do a couple other things. Yes, more trusty coffee, empty coffee cans. My wife will be proud. Um, Starting along the same concept, I took a couple of these and I drill holes all around the sides, all on the bottom, all on the top, and I filled it with media from those grow beds. So I took those which have been housing bacteria this whole time, and I just uh, stuffed them in here, put a lid on it. So technically it's just like a, hopefully like a biological canister. And then if I just, drop it in the water here it'll sink right to the bottom and I'm hoping that that also serves as a house for bacteria here's another one here we'll put that on this side okay one other thing that I did is I bought off of Amazon and I'll, I'll put a link uh, in the description below. These bio balls, they're plastic balls, but they are designed to uh, house bacteria. So the bacteria will hopefully find a home to live in here and convert all the bad stuff out of the water, take all that ammonia and nitrites, convert them into nitrates for the fish. So we're gonna put that in the filter as well. There we go, let's just drop it in there. And just for good measure, I got a few more lines of that same air hose 
So I'm gonna put those in here and underneath things just to get more oxygen into the water. And all I did is I, I have my air compressor here or my little air pump and the lines are gonna go up. I'm wrapping them around this handle just so they don't fall and then I'm placing them inside. Okay, and that's what it looks like now. So hopefully most of this barrel, which is gravel, will filter a lot of the mechanical pieces out, the physical things. They'll trap all those inside the gravel where hopefully bacteria will break it down. But it, just to give the bacteria help out, I think all this extra stuff should help as well. So these bio balls, uh, which again, I'll put a link in the description below where you can find it on Amazon. That's where I got it. Uh, these two canisters, which have the grow bed media inside of them, and then the new thing you saw me build with the lava rock. Hopefully we'll see if that uh, does a good job. Okay, I think that's it for this update. Uh, thanks for watching with all the aquaponic videos. Uh, I'm gonna have some more pipe smoking things to come soon. This has just been consuming all my time, especially with the fish that are dying. So in addition to what you just saw me do with that filter right there, uh, I've also been treating the fish, giving them some medication, and uh, they seem to be responding well. So uh, I'll go ahead and put a clip of them swimming uh, just so you could see them. And if you have any questions about aquaponics, anything like that, leave me a comment, send me a tweet at Stogie Farts, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Shut up and sit down.